The bison skull placement with this angle is somewhat unfortunate for my head. All right, I'm just gonna roll with it. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Dave. I am a photographer from the Bay Area of California. I mostly shoot on the Leica camera system and this channel is all about photography and creative philosophy. And it's the creative philosophy part we're going to talk about right now. So just a few days ago, I posted this on threads. I've been trying to articulate this even to myself, but I decided in 2024, I'm sunsetting all client photography and taking my business in a new direction. After years of doing commercial and client-based photography, it's time to sunset it. From now on, I'll only be doing free shoots for people. I'm no longer shooting for companies or brands. I'm no longer taking on new photography campaigns. It sounds crazy, but risks are crazy. Taking big risks this year. And then I put the strong arm emoji because I don't have strong arms and that's the emoji is the best I can do. Well, that thread got a lot of engagement for me. I mean, I'm a small, small person here. <laughs> but a lot of comments, questions, asking for clarity. As I began to explain things in the comments, I thought, you know, maybe this will inspire you to and also make it so that I can tell everyone that commented, I'm okay. You see, I have been doing commercial photography for several years now. It's part of the portfolio of my life as a creative. And I say portfolio because I don't do just one thing. I learned very early on as a creative to not put all my eggs in one basket because things can change at any given time and I don't want to have my family suffer because I focused on one client or one thing. I know I have a lot of things going on. The commercial photography part or even all paid photography work though is what I'm talking about when I say I'm sunsetting it. I remember years ago, I was watching a Peter McKinnon video where he talked about how he got started. He was talking about working and having a job, started his YouTube channel, and when he first made like his first like dollar or something on ad revenue, he was like, okay, there's a future in this. And he quit everything and went all in on YouTube. Well, Peter McKinnon is like this success story that doesn't get replicated. So please don't hear me say like, that's my trajectory, nor am I making that comparison. But what I am saying is that the philosophy of when you see something working, if that thing resonates with you, why not try it? I launched this channel last year and it's been a year now and it's been an incredible year. I have met so many people, had chances to collaborate and take on some sponsors occasionally on videos. But the biggest thing that has happened in this last year that honestly has changed my life was launching very good presets back in April of last year with one preset. Now there are five presets on there that were added throughout the year, but very good presets is working. And this YouTube channel is working. And at the end of the day, this is way more fun and way more of what I love to do than brand or commercial or client shoots. And that's just the honest truth. There's this like small fire burning right now. And I feel like now is the time to go pour some gasoline on that fire. And let's just see what happens. Because at the end of the day, as a creative with a portfolio of things going on, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's okay. I just want to own my time. And if I can do it, I'm going to do it. But this video, if you're still watching, <laughs> I don't wanna make it about me. Like, honestly, this video is about you. <laughs> you may not know this, but I went to school, you know, oh my God, 20 years ago now. While I was in my university, I did a lot of focus in the psychology and the counseling world. And part of that is like learning yourself really well. I'm a big believer in trying to learn everything you can about yourself. And there's a lot of tests out there that can help you kind of learn yourself, right? So you've got on the most basic level, Myers-Briggs, but there's a test called Strength Finders. There's like a corporate test called DISC. There's the spiritual Enneagram test. There's a lot of things out there that can help you learn you. As I learned me throughout the last 20 years or so of my career, I learned that what gives me the most life is empowering others. Like, I don't have to be the guy. I wanna be the guy who helps the other person get to where they're going. If I lay my head down on my pillow at night 
and I can reflect on helping somebody get from point A to point B, I am more satisfied than getting the perfect photo, than getting the bucket shot. What satisfies me, what gives me the most joy is helping others get from point A to point B. And I wanna do more of that. But to do more of that, I wanna own my time. I'm traveling soon to go meet an artist that I want to empower. And that's just the first one. You're gonna see more about that at a later date. I'm trying to collaborate more with people that I admire, that are doing incredible things, that the fact that I have those opportunities blows my mind. But to do so, I've got to own my time. And that's what it's all about for me, owning my time. Money is fluid, money comes and goes our whole life, but time is a one-way street. And when it's gone, it's gone. So I wanna make the most of it, I want you to make the most of your time as well. This is why it's important to me to always try to build community through this YouTube channel. And so far, when I started with zero subs and today, I think I'm somewhere around 6,500-ish. I've been able to scale responding to every comment so far. It's part of my day. I take some time, I respond to every comment. Every DM I have been sent, I try to respond to. I don't think that's sustainable if you get hundreds of thousands of people trying to message you, but I hope to figure out a scale where community is always part of my life and community is always part of the experience that I'm having here through YouTube or through other social media platforms. I wanna figure that out for me, but I need time to do it. So I'm taking the time to do it by quitting by quitting all the commercial work, by quitting all the paid client work. No new clients, no new campaigns. I'm wrapping up some last few things and then it's done. And I'm gonna own my time, which is so crazy. To, you know, I just keep saying it and I've always wanted it. 20 years later in a career, I, I have it. I'm able to, to do it. A couple of things that are for you. I mean, honestly, number one, very good presets. Yes, that is a shop. Yes, I charge for presets that I develop. But your support of that literally helps me do this. First, I just wanna say thank you. And if there's any way I can serve you, whether you need support or help or anything, please reach out. I hope my presets add value to you to your photography, to your clients if you're shooting and doing commercial work or family work. Like I just hope it adds value to you. That's why I make them. And that's why I try to sell them at what I consider to be a no-brainer cost. Like you don't have to sit there and like ponder, do I have the money for this? Like I wanna try to sell them as low as possible. That way you're not taking a huge sacrifice to further what you do. Now granted, I know that's a very relative thing to say because to some that $10 I give through the discount codes I have on this channel through other videos, that, that is a big sacrifice. And I feel every dollar through very good presets, I know you gave something up to get that preset, but I hope it adds value to you. Second thing is the Patreon community that I just started. It's amazing to me that people have already committed to helping me develop presets. The fact that people would contribute monthly to the ongoing development of these things that add value to other photographers, other creatives, and add value to, to my life. I just wanna thank you for that. If you join Patreon, you're literally helping make my life a reality, and at the same time, empowering the tools that hopefully will empower others. And the third thing that I'm able to do because I'm quitting the other stuff is begin to do photography workshops, which is like one-on-one -on -one time to inspire and empower and to teach the things that I've learned from a technical standpoint and also the things that I've learned from a cultural and philosophical standpoint. I'm excited to announce a Bay Area photography workshop this summer, and it is very much in the preliminary stages, but if you click the link right below, you can sign up to get the info as it comes available. The dates are locked in, like that's a done part, but all the details are kind of in some, some sort of figuring it out still. Preset development, collaborations, workshops, things that I can do with my time to add value to you and inspire you. These are all the reasons that I'm quitting. I'm quitting to focus on my passions. I'm quitting to own my time. I'm quitting to focus on projects that I've always wanted to do, but I've never had time to do. I'm quitting to further invest into my local community. I'm quitting to make better resources for photographers. I'm quitting to be able to give more of myself. I'm quitting so I can collaborate more. Ultimately, I'm quitting because life is too short to not chase after your dreams. So here's to dreams in 2024.
probably should have done this video at the beginning of the year, but I hadn't come to this conclusion quite yet at that point. All right, guys, that's my philosophical thought for you tonight. I hope it encourages you to chase your own dreams too. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.